Separation shock in Liverpool. Interesting things are happening this time in Liverpool. While the club signed a record transfer at the beginning of the season, a shaky period was passed in the league with the bad results that followed. Then FSG announced that the club's shares were put up for sale, and this news fell like a bombshell. Recently, we told you that Mike Gordon resigned from his position and took on a role to negotiate with new investors. Now, it is reported that Julian Ward is planning to resign from his position at the end of the season, after taking over the role of sporting director from Michael Edwards months ago. Liverpool's transfer record over the past few years has been heralded across Europe as Edwards has helped make the club one of the most attractive locations for future destinations. The news that he resigned at the end of last season came as a surprise to many, but his supporting that was already preparing to take on the role. Ward became de facto sporting director last year, which means he led the negotiations on the Luis Diaz deal, while also taking the reins to get Mohamed Salah to sign an extension. He was also the man who got Darwin Nunez through the door in Liverpool and took charge of Sadio Mane's exit. It looked like the smooth transition Liverpool had hoped for after Edwards announced his plan to leave. But Ward has now decided he wants to take a break from football as well, leaving Liverpool in a vacuum towards next season. According to the information transferred, Liverpool reacted to Ward's sudden decision with surprise and disappointment. The 41-year-old will remain in his position until the end of the season and Liverpool are planning to hire a substitute from outside the club. Ward's decision is said to be based on a number of factors, including FSG's plans to sell the club. Mike Gordon's decision to step back from his usual role at Liverpool to help oversee a possible takeover of the club was also a deciding factor for Ward. Now Jurgen Klopp will continue without his two right-hand men behind the scenes. The Reds' boss had worked closely with both Gordon and the club's sporting director during his seven years at Anfield. A decision has yet to be made on Ward's replacement, but Liverpool seem to have faced troubling times off the pitch, with major departures increasingly isolating Klopp. The Liverpool boss's manager, Mark Karsik, insisted last month that the club's off-field situation had no bearing on Klopp's plans to leave Anfield. I can assure you that Jurgen Klopp has no intention of resigning from Liverpool, Karsik told Sky Sports. The fact that problems could arise this season due to the busy season last year was taken into account by the club owners before the season started. Jurgen enjoys the support of those in charge and is in regular contact with them. He loves his club, his team, his fans and is determined to successfully complete the transition to continue at Liverpool. He did not extend his contract until 2026 in vain, said. Klopp confirmed his intentions earlier this month, saying, no matter what, I'm committed to the club. According to Klopp and the club, the promises made seem to be kept, but the separation of the two names closest to the German manager will of course affect Klopp's motivation. As a result, when the collaborators disappear, there will be a need to deal with more problems. But it could also mean that Klopp has more authority and a more effective say in the transfer. There is a lot of uncertainty in Liverpool and Ward's decision to leave after the club's sale could negatively affect the team. While Klopp is of course a master at motivating his team, it wouldn't be surprising if Liverpool got into a whirlwind. Liverpool will have to pay £28 million to sign the midfielder. The 21-year-old Brazilian midfielder has caught the attention of Europe's top clubs after his impressive performances, and it appears that Liverpool is linked to him. Brazilian journalist Jorge Nicola revealed that the Reds had to pay a fee of around €32 million Euros to sign the player at the end of the season. The midfielder has a long-term contract with the Brazilian club and is protected by a €60 million Euro release clause. However, Flamengo is aware that Gomes suitors won't be paying that money for him, so they are willing to negotiate a more reasonable fee. However, the reported €32 million Euro wage still seems like a high premium for the youngster who has yet to prove himself at the highest level. It will be interesting to see if Liverpool are prepared to pay that kind of money to secure their services in the summer. It's no secret that Liverpool will need to improve their midfield department at the end of the season. Players like Jordan Henderson and James Milner seem to be shadows of their former selves. Additionally, the Reds are expected to lose Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Naby Keita as their contracts expire. Strengthening the midfield will be a top priority for Jurgen Klopp and Gomez will certainly be a quality long-term investment. The 21-year-old has the potential to become a top-notch player for Liverpool in the long run.
Also, Klopp has an impressive track record of developing young talent and Liverpool manager can help Gomez fulfil his potential. The World Cup star admitted he could leave in January after allegations that Liverpool wanted to sign him. Liverpool's transfer target Adrian Rubio has admitted he may be looking for a new club soon. The French midfielder performed brilliantly at the World Cup Tuesday night, but his future is still in the air. Speaking to La Repubblica via renowned transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Rubio says he doesn't know what awaits him. I don't know my future, I don't know if I will stay at Juve, the 27-year-old said. This is not the time to argue about it. Of course, recent performances helped me go elsewhere or talk about a new deal with Juventus. This last point could be crucial for Rubio. He scored and assisted for France in a 4-1 win over Australia. Potential suitors like Liverpool could be on high alert if he puts on a few more performances like this one. Links to Rubio inevitably cause Liverpool fans to roll their eyes. The Juve midfielder plays a demanding game. On top of that, he's played pretty well for both PSG and Juventus. It is clear that Rubio has a lot of quality. Getting into this France squad in the first place isn't a bad feat, and being a star for them definitely shows they have something to do. As Liverpool look for the right gear to add to their midfield, perhaps they can make do with one of their Les Blue Star counterparts. Elegant on the ball, relatively dynamic and capable of scoring goals, he has some attractive features. His contract expiring in the summer also means Liverpool can get him cheap. Unfortunately that could be a very important factor in who the Reds are heading to over the next few months, especially in January. With the Champions League qualifiers in balance, perhaps Liverpool can't afford to bet on the bank. While we're also dedicating substantial funds for Jude Bellingham, quality budget option or two may be the order of the day. Rubio's salary claims may mean he ultimately doesn't fall into that category. But let's see what happens. Liverpool as has been named the, the best in the world after the superior World Cup show. Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk remains arguably the best defender in the world, along with Dutch teammate Denzel Dumfries and is pleased that the Orange captain has been qualified for the Qatar World Cup. In three UEFA Nations League fixtures that van Dijk missed in June, Louis van Gaal's Dutch team conceded five goals. The numbers alone show how important Van Dijk is to the Dutch's hopes of reaching the final stages of the World Cup. As the Liverpool giant endured awkwardly tense moments during Monday's 2-0 Senegal win, it was key to another clean sheet, throwing his head in front of a goal-bound Ismail Assar effort long before Cody Gakpo opened the score. Van Dijk's return has definitely had an impact, says Inter Milan wing guard Dumfries. Virgil is one of the best if not the best defender in the world. And then he brings his immense presence. Virgil is very important to this group. Van Dijk is definitely one of the best defenders in the world. It's a great luck to be in Liverpool.